Tank Destroyer 14055A. Be top player by experience when win and survive. Pretty much this. Um, this mission is relatively simple, especially for a T-55A mission standards. All you need to do, you need to play some games. And if I can give you a recommendation, remember, fellas, you can always stick to the lower tiers. You don't need to play higher tiers. You can play your favorite Hellcat or Su-100 or whatever else, and you can deal with this. So my recommendation is lower tier, get the matchmaking whenever you can shoot while... Um, sniping from the back or if you have something armored you can go in front and easy peasy and this is how we are doing this so fellas first of all i made a decision to play lower tier for this mission because i honestly think it is just simply way easier for us to deal with this top three by experience is definitely not rocket science and everyone can do that maybe not from the first time because you know you might um you might lose the game and you clearly need to win you might not survive the game but couple of goals and you are going to be fine and all and all this is very very simple situation we have the steps assault, so we need to take enemies down and we need to attack their base. But first of all, how do I like to start this game, especially whenever you are a fast tank destroyer or fast medium tank? I kind of like to take this position over there. Obviously, if you are um, fighting against the smart enemies who are willing to blind shot this bush, this can be a nightmare. Or alternatively, if you have a very, very um, strong light tank against you, he is going to be in one of those bushes here so whenever you are going to shoot you are going to take one for the team but that's not the point the point is this is how we completed the mission and first of all looking we are obviously paying a huge attention into the max map and we can see that ELC um, going in front like crazy mother trucker and unfortunately I missed the shot that was a bad aim um, I did not calculate it about the shell velocity and right and he was just moving a bit quicker than I initially thought he would same goes here it is okay ELC even is quite a hard target to hit now you might think this much making is very very bad for being a lower tier right um, to be completely honest with you not really you are getting more experience by shooting the tanks um, which are higher tier, right? So if, as an example, we are, we are shooting the tier 6s, we are getting certain amount of experience. And if we are shooting the higher tiers, let's say tier 8s, we are getting a bit more experience for that. So it's not necessarily that bad, right? And all and all, all we need to do, we need to have our eyes widely open and just try to punish enemies for their mistakes if they are going to make any. Obviously, we are paying attention to what is happening on the minimap. Can our team hold the north? And what we supposed to do from here is holding angle good enough for us to make this um, work and to obviously win the game and complete the mission in the same time. Meanwhile, Su-100 is getting spotted in the back but obviously boogie is kind of easier target so um this is kind of no brainer we decided to go for boogie and here you go easy shot just like this now we are returning to the to the pretty much same position and we are saying hello also one more thing which is very important the enemies are trying to flank our heavy tanks through the middle of the field and this elc is having a blast right he is pretty much spotting getting the sweet assisting damage and in the same time p43 bit who is sitting here in the back he is farming them all so i really like the current situation how everything is looking like and what overall we can get from all of this right but in the same time i need to get more 1000 uh, damage is not going to cut to get top three by experience let's get real uh this game had like what 15,000 hit points 14,000 hit points so i need to get a bit more involved and to do something and in the same time, lucky for us, we noticed the Dicker Max making some kind of mistake. Unfortunately, we missed him though. But I am going to stay here for a moment and we will see. Maybe we can spank uh, someone and look at this. Mr. Shrek, how are you doing? Another 200 in the face, which is completely fine. And once again, fellas, all we need to do in this situation and we can clearly see our team is winning over there is just to try to find one or another extra shot to 
push that edge a little bit more to get into the top three. We need to survive, we need to win, we need to be top three. Definitely not rocket science and overall for T-55 standards, believe me, there is going to be so much more complicated missions. Luckily for us, we managed to eliminate the Shrek, so this is going to give us quite a bit of experience, right? Because Shrek is a tier... Um, 8 tank destroyer, so uh, it is always good and always welcome. We have a PCR loaded, but I see Arta, so I instantly load the standard uh, uh, high explosives. And look at this beauty, 293 in the face. We are waving for the Arta, he's looking at us angry, but we are not intimidated by him whatsoever. M6, hello, you are not paying attention, I like your style, thank you very much. We are sitting on 1.9 thousand damage as a being bottom tier tank. I am feeling already pretty confident on um, how we play the game, what we have done here, and overall I am feeling Gucci. And I think this should be more than enough for us to complete this. Arta, hello dear Mr. Arta, how are you doing? Can I spank you once? Beautiful. Extra kill. Three kills looking into the situation. Bottom tier, three kills. Over 2,000 damage. Hip, hip, hooray. Now this is the situation. When we could potentially go and kill the IS-3A and Tiger P, but I made a decision not to go for it. The main reason why so, I was, I assume I was just simply lazy and I do not know how many hit points they have. They might have no hit points whatsoever, right? And even though it is, says 1.7 thousand over there, it doesn't mean it is the case. So we captured the base um, and let's see how the score is looking like. And we are back with a score, fellas. 2,000 damage, 3 kills, 90 assisting damage, first class plus cookie medal. And look at this beauty. We are first by experience and we are second by the damage. Very, very nice. All in all, I think that was a good game. It was very, very simple. We do not need to do anything extra extraordinary it happened to be our team one and we did enough to be into the top three uh, we lost some credits though because of the extra rations and whatnot but that is completely fine that is not the point right uh, so here you go tank destroyer mission one completed